So we've talked about the measures of central tendency, so being able to identify where the center of your data is. And now we want to talk about some other measures that are going to tell you how far out your data is spread and how much it's clumped around your, your measure of your center. So first thing we want to do is discuss skewness just a little bit. And if we make a histogram like we did for our assignment earlier, um, we can identify the shape of our data. And so we can tell, is does it have this kind of symmetric look to it? Is it more rectangular where it looks like a big box? Or is it sort of skewed like it's all going off to one side? And it could either be skewed to the right where the tail is to the right end or skewed to the left where the big tail is on the left end. So those are the, the main shapes that we want to talk about. And if we talk about some of these different scenarios, um, they, I have to tell you, these scenarios are not going to be 100%. You will always have this shape for your histogram because it's going to depend on how you um, phrase your answer. So just keep that in mind that it's not one of those things where you're going to have this is the 100% correct answer. There's going to be some shades of gray on this. So let's look at and think about AA battery life. So if we're thinking about batteries and how long they last, we might think about a battery having like a short life, middle length life, and then long life over here, and AAA battery life, so for, or AA, so for a battery, do we expect them all to, to, do we expect to have this sort of shape where some of them, an even amount of them last a short amount of time, an even amount last a middle amount, and an even amount of them last a long time so that it's kind of an even distribution? Or do we expect it to be more like this where it's a mound shaped where we have some that last not very long and then a bunch that last about this length of time and then some that last longer? And we're, we have to think about, for the, triple, for the AA battery life, we have to think about the same use. So if we're using them in a camera, for example, what does the distribution look like? We can't really combine apples and oranges here and say, well, using your batteries in a camera is the same as using the batteries in a remote control, which is the same as using a battery in a remote controlled car. They're all going to have different different shapes for their battery life, but let's just pick one of those for you to think about and then think, okay, how would it look? Is it going to be short, medium, or long in terms of how long the battery lasts? Or are you going to have something like this where most of them last as this amount of time, but you're going to have some that die sooner? Then it would be the skewed left, or is it going to be where we have mm, most of them die early and a few of them last longer. So you have to decide between those what makes sense for batteries. And I'm going to say for me this one makes sense to have skewed left because I think you'll have some batteries that don't last very long at all and then you'll have a bunch of batteries all lasting for quite a length of time and then there will be kind of a little bit off here on the end that last even longer than the average. So that's my, my guess right there. You could make your own argument for it to be a different shape. You wouldn't probably be wrong on that. But now you know what I think through when I'm figuring out the, the shape. So frequency of coin flips, IQ scores, age at death, and frequency of dice rolls. I want you to think about those and um, figure out which way you think it's going to go 